Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Let's see what I got going on today. I am pulling these two T-posts to put here by the propane tanks to make sure they don't fall over. I got the fasteners for the solar panels of the correct length so I can now install the washers as the hold downs. I got two boards, which I'm going to pull all this off and make one nice long one right here in front. And I got wire, a box, conduit, and the rest of the fittings to pull all the wire from the solar array up into the powerhouse and connect to our battery bank. Should be another long day, but I'm really excited. We're getting really close to having our own power. Uh, we kicked off this tank. We're no longer using it at all. It's completely empty. I told them to come get their crap. This is now connected to our two tanks. We had a little problem with the leak. I'll try to put a clip into that later. All fixed. Other than that, guess what? I have power inside the house. Generator's off. Battery bank is hooked up. 24 volt system goes to a 24 volt inverter 1500 watt out the extension cord which is powering the inside that was connected to the generator is now connected to the inverter we are draining from the battery bank we also have a 24 volt uh, charger that Bia got that can run from the generator if we need to top it off but now we can have a day of down from the generator as soon as I can get the solar up and hooked We'll start drawing electricity from the uh, solar bank and it'll dump into the battery bank. And all I need to do is get a charge controller here. It's going to come up through, connect to the charge controller, go to the battery bank, and then feed through the inverter like normal. I am so excited. It's almost done. It's been a long battle, but somehow it just happened all of a sudden. Just snowballed and here we are. Heck yeah. I hear the neighbors here. Time to knock this out completely. Have a good Wednesday, everyone. All right, here we are again. Good evening. The solar system is wired. We have all the negatives tied into one line going in here. And all the positive positives going into another line tied in here. Now... We have this box here, which is an on-off switch, and we're currently getting the rest of the wires finished. So this is the last little bit of the wire that's coming up out of the conduit that we used. If we can see that right here. It went down in the ground, was buried. Trench right here, you can see I've buried it because it was making me nervous having this trench open on the ground in front of this giant propane tank, which is leaving tomorrow. We have the conduit coming all the way here with the line coming out of it. And we are just uh, set the length right here of this piece. We're now about to put the rest of the wire through here, push it out, and then connect this joint permanently together to make it watertight. Then, we're going to come up to the wall with a 90, drill a hole through, and come through with a weather box. Then we're going to hook that to our charge controller and then hook the battery and we'll be finished. We're so close to having solar power powering our battery array. I am super excited about it. It's been another long day. Sun's already going down, but not bad. Two days to get this whole system up. It's pretty good. We're underneath the panels right now. You can see I got these fasteners installed that are holding the solar panels in place. They do not lift at all. You can see when I push up, the entire thing lifts. So it's totally set. Right now I just came in with some liquid electrical tape and I'm just going back in the terminal blocks that we use to join all the positives and all the negatives together and just gooping up the ends to make sure they're nice and weatherproof. 
and that's really it for underneath. Uh, we got all of these cables, snipped off the connectors, uh, daisy chained them together on uh, like all the negatives together and all the positives together. And on this side, because we're using six gauge wire because the amperage load, which is about 60 amps, um, we had trouble finding anything that could join them together. So we found these terminal blocks basically that we're using and they just have a big screw that we put two six gauge wires in there and tighten the screw on it and then put one from this side and tightened it and that's that and yeah we got some wire here to join between the two so we just all right go ahead pull all right hang on let me untangle this okay Oh, sh slowly. All right, go. Okay, hold. Now we can goop it and close it. How much lead do we have left over? Uh, All right. Now that's close. Close call. Here we go. Now to seal this up, and we'll be transitioning towards the shed. Then I got to go up and in twist it okay. we need to do this one immediately too because that'll dry all right got the corner attached now we just need to start kicking in the dirt back into the trench probably up until about here and then we're gonna work on transitioning to the powerhouse this isn't too bad it's just a lot of steps the conduits the worst part I wish I could have found direct burial cable but nope <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow, look at how much the wind has blown out from underneath their powerhouse. That was sitting on flat sand. We are so close to being done. All right, looks about good. Johnny Cage would be proud. <laughs> or Van Damme, I guess. <laughs> Sweet. Does it line up with your marker? Do it again. Oh, I might be able. I might have to. Cannot see mark. Oh yeah, looks good. 
There it is. Now I just need to drill a hole in the siding, support it somehow inside, bring the wires through, and then we can hook to the controller. That's about all my back and handle for today. I hope you all had a wonderful Tuesday, apparently. I never know what day it is. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Looks like the propane won't be gone tomorrow. It'll be gone on Thursday. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is probably mess with these two propane tanks. Stab a fence post there, a fence post there. Secure them to it so that it can be completely isolated and not have to worry about the wind. Like this digging under stuff right here. Hey, so I finally get to use this generator my brother sent me because my tiny one can't run everything. We drew the generator, or sorry, the battery bank down really low over the period of about 30 hours or so. We're using everything normally. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to start this one. I'm going to plug the house into it so I can use the oven and watch TV and do some other stuff. And then this little one's going to be running the battery charger to top off the battery bank while we don't draw from it. And then I'm going to see how long it takes to bring the entire bank up. And we'll kind of get an idea of how much energy it takes to bring it back up and how much we use and things like that. Super excited to finally get to use this thing. I'm sad it's not with the propane tie-in here like I'd anticipated, but stuff happens. We're still going to use it, just in a different way. And tomorrow we have a little meter. That tomorrow we have a little meter that is gonna we're gonna hook up to the battery so it shows the percentage of the batteries the voltage and all that awesome and it's uh, wireless too somehow so we could put it in the house not sure how that's gonna work but <laughs> we'll see